And they lay um, up to three clutches of eggs per year. Most clutches contain about four to 12 eggs. And then they hatch in about uh, late August into September. At this site along the Delaware Bay, um, there's a big problem with terrapins getting trapped in the rubble dune and also ending up in the roadway and getting hit by cars. Um, so to help them out, we're creating a nesting garden, which is an, an area of raised sand that allows them to um, dig in and keeps them out of the road and it gives them a, a, a better chance to have nesting success. The biggest threats are mortalities, um, road mortalities, getting hit by cars, and also drowning in crab traps, because a lot of people um, don't have the exclusion devices on their crab traps, so the terrapins get in there and they can't get out, and because they breathe air, they end up drowning. You know, as you get these more intense storms, you end up losing a lot of shoreline, a lot of the habitat that they're used to nesting in no longer exists and then they end up going into the road to search for more suitable nesting sites and then they end up getting hit by cars. So uh, as the sea level rises, you know, climate change is having big impacts on terrapin populations. So once we add this new sand, it'll be loose enough for them to dig in. And then we're also gonna put up some fencing to keep them out of the road, as well as some signage to you know, make people aware that this is a sensitive site for nesting turtles. If you see a terrapin crossing the road, um, if there are no cars coming, you can just let it cross on its own. However, if it's in a situation where it needs some help, you can go ahead and pick it up and move it in the direction it was headed. If you put it in the direction it was coming from, the turtle is likely gonna to try to cross again and likely get hit. And you should only uh, help a turtle cross the road if it's safe to do so, because if it's in an area where there's a lot of cars flying by, you might end up getting hit. So you have to use caution, use your best judgment, and help the turtle in the best way you can.